One of the things about doing things at the command line in the terminal on Linux is that many of the commands that I run, I could probably run at least half a dozen other commands to achieve the same result. It's one of those things, so many things at the command line can be done using a variety of different tools. One example is getting a line count. You guys often see me getting a line count of, for example, packages installed on a Linux system when I'm doing a distro review. Let me switch over to my desktop and I'll show you exactly what you guys will often see me do. I'll uh, open up a, a Linux distribution in a, a virtual machine uh, for a, a review and I want a an exact number of how many packages are installed on that system. And on a Debian or an Ubuntu, base system you would run the command apt space list space dash dash installed and that will spit out line by line every program that was installed using the apt package manager on your system now I use an arch based distribution so on pacman to get that information you would do pacman dash capital Q lowercase q and it will spit out again line by line every package that was installed using Pac-Man, the package manager. Now, if I wanted a line count of this, all I would do is pipe that into WC, which is the word count program, part of the standard GNU core utils, and give WC the dash L flag for a line count, because I want a line count, not necessarily a word count. And you see, 2,004 lines are in that output. So I know that through Pac-Man, 2,004 packages were installed on my system. Now, the other day, I ran this uh, command on Linux Mint. I was taking a look at the most recent release of Linux Mint and I ran the uh, apt list dash dash installed command and piped it through WC dash L to get a line count. And I got a response in the comments. Hey, man, why didn't you use the NL command to get a line count? Because it, it, it works just like WC. It, it's, you don't have to add a dash L flag, I, I guess, you know, saving a couple of characters maybe is an advantage. Except the problem is. WC-L and NL are not actually the same thing. If I actually do Pac-Man dash capital Q lowercase Q and then pipe it into NL, which is number of lines, that's a standard GNU core utility as well. What this does, it doesn't actually spit out the number of lines. What this does, it cats out the output and gives a line number in front of every line. So that gives me you know, 2,004 lines of information where I didn't need 2,004 lines of information. I just needed the very last line and I didn't even need the entire last line. I just needed the actual number. And that's where, you know, WC-L comes in handy because uh, the dash L flag specifically says, give me the number. Where WC, if, if you didn't give it the dash L flag, it actually prints out more information. It gives you uh, the line count. It gives you the word count, which is the same in the output because every line is exactly one word because it's a package name. And then it gives you a byte count, a, a character count. The cool thing with WC though is it has the flags so if I only want a line count you know I give it dash L if I only want a word count I would give it dash W and if I only want a byte count a character count I would give it dash C and if I do the dash C you can see it returns the byte count 24,736 so that is the reason I typically use WC rather than NL because you know WC is very terse, right? It gives you really just the number you're looking for, the line number or the word number or word count number, or whatever it is you're looking for, rather than NL, which cats out, you know, the entire uh, file, for example, if you were doing this on a file, it would cat out the entire file and give you the line number preceding each line. There's also one other advantage to WC over NL, and that is that WC actually gives you an accurate line count where NL does not out of the box. And for me to actually demonstrate this, let me clear the screen and I'm going to cat out my uh, bash RC. So I'm going to run cat on the bash RC and I'm going to pipe that into WC and give it the dash L flag for line count and you can see there are 255 lines in my bash RC. Now I'm going to hit the up arrow to rerun that last command except I'm going to remove WC and instead 
uh, pipe it into NL for number of lines. Now, number of lines you would expect to also be 255, but of, of course it cats out the entire bash RC, and you can see it adds line numbers preceding each line, except the last line, which should be 255, is only line 212. And the reason this is is because uh, by default NL does not count empty lines. It only counts lines that are non-empty. And obviously there's several empty lines in my bash RC where I space things out. Those lines are not actually counted by default in NL where they are counted in WC. Now NL does have some flags you could use to force it to also count the empty lines. So if I instead did a CAD on the bash RC, pipe it into NL and then give NL the following flags dash BA, you can see now it actually numbers every line including the empty lines and you can see we actually get the correct number now, 255 lines. But again, WC and NL, they're even though you can get similar information from them, they're not really the same command. And most of the time, I, I just need the exact line count number. Nothing else. No other output, especially with scripting. Many times, I just need that number right there uh, so I can pass that number along to some other command. You know, so all of this extra output is just superfluous stuff that I don't really need. That's why I prefer WC over NL. Now there are ways of getting a line count, an accurate line count that is just the line count number without any other extra cruft. And you can use several other GNU core utilities to do this. The most obvious examples is I can use grip, I can also use SID, and I can also use awk to get a line count. So let's start with grip. I'm gonna run grip dash C, and the dash C is a flag for actually a line count. It's basically telling grip, get a line count of everything that matches this pattern. And the pattern we're gonna match is period, asterisk. So we're gonna match essentially everything. Every line, whether it's an empty line or it has anything on it, so it's gonna grip every line and it's going to give us a count and let's do this on the bash rc since we know the bash rc should have 255 lines in it and that is what is returned 255 so grip dash c uh period asterisk and then the name of the file will get you an accurate line count to do something similar with sid you could run sid space dash n give it the dash n flag and then inside quotes do a dollar sign equals and then name a file, so I will do once again uh, bash rc, and let's see if we get an accurate line count. I, I got an error, the bash shell does not like me using those double quotes right there, so I'm gonna do single quotes. So I'm gonna do sid dash n, and then inside single quotes, dollar sign equals, and then name a file, in this case, the dot bash rc, and I get 255. Now one thing to note about the sed command here, while it is a neat command, if you ever run that particular command on an empty file, meaning a, a file that has no lines, you actually won't get anything returned. You'll get no output because that particular sed command can't handle anything that doesn't have at least one or more lines. So if you do that on an empty file, just know you're not going to get any output with sed. So a better a program to actually use would be awk and you could actually run the following command with awk awk and then inside single quotes capital end and then inside the squirrely braces let's do a print space nr and then the trailing single quotes and then name a file and if we did this correctly we should get 255 returned and awk if you run this on an empty file it actually can handle that it will actually return a zero if you run this on a file that actually has no lines so you don't necessarily have to use wc i mean if you really just need to get a quick line count you could use nl you could also use grip you could also use sid you could also use awk and just for funsies i will show you a convoluted way of getting an accurate line count. I could actually do cat dash n on the bash rc and if I run that you can see cat dash n just cats out the bash rc and gives me a line count. And then what I could do, I could tail dash n one, so I'm going to get the tail which is the end of the file dash n for the number, the line count one. So I'm going to get the very last line is what that does. And then what I could do is pipe that into cut and give cut the following flag dash f for field one. So the very first field, which uh, the very first field 
is that right there. And if I did that accurately, I again get 255 return. Now that is kind of, uh, again, just a fun example. It's convoluted. You run three different commands, right? Cat and then tail and then cut to get 255. Where, you know, using something like WC or even grip, sit or alt would be much more efficient. So that was about a half dozen different ways that I know of to quickly get a line count from any output in the terminal. So whichever program you want to use, whether it be WC, which is the program I prefer to use, or NL, or GRIP, SED, AUG, or CUT, CAT, TAIL, you know, whatever programs you want to use to get that line count, they're all part of the GNU Core Utils. Every program I showed you today, they're all standard core utils that are installed on every single Linux distribution. So use whatever you prefer. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Devin, Gabe, James, Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Atami, Alan, Linux, Ninja, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Kurt, Diokai, Dylan, David, Gregory, Heiko, got some people out of order, Koska, Lee, Maxim, Mike, Nitrix, Arion, Alexander, Peace, Sergeant, Vador, Polydate, Raver, Red Prophet, Stephen, Willie. All right, these guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. Uh, this quick episode about getting a line count in the terminal, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are all my supporters over on patreon because i don't have any corporate sponsors i'm just sponsored by you guys the community if you like this work i'm doing about linux free and open source software and these great command line programs and you want to support me look for distrotube over on patreon all right guys peace is there anything you can't do with grip set or alk <laughs>